Microsoft gets on the DeepSeek bandwagon and puts the OpenAI killer into the Azure platform. China hosts a human robot competition. And the true test of whether your AI thinks like a human? Dad jokes. Welcome to Hashtag Trending. I'm your host, Jim Love. Let's get into it. Microsoft has wasted no time announcing the integration of DeepSeek's R1 AI model into its Azure cloud computing platform and GitHub developer tools. DeepSeek, a Chinese AI startup, has gained attention for developing models that rival the power of the latest open AI models, but make these models free and open source with all of the code and weightings. As well, because China has been held back from the latest US technology, these have been designed to run on cheap and easily accessible hardware. They can run using a tiny fraction of the processing power and energy demands of larger US models. Reportedly, they are 98% cheaper to run. So it's not totally shocking to see how fast Microsoft would incorporate this new open source system into its Azure suite of tools, unless you take into account that Microsoft has invested heavily into OpenAI and ChatGPT to the tune of more than $10 billion. And make no mistake, DeepSeek could be a huge competitor for OpenAI. And as well, OpenAI has accused DeepSeek of using ChatGPT to train its model. So it's not totally shocking, but it does provide a new insight into big tech partnerships. Elon Musk recently accused Microsoft and OpenAI of colluding to achieve a joint monopoly. Apparently, this is not quite a marriage. This partnership is strictly business. We've all talked about the fact that humans may soon compete against robots for jobs. But that competition may involve more than how well you can stock shelves or assemble cars. In fact, China's Beijing Economic Technological Development Area, E-Town, will host the world's first half-marathon competition between humans and humanoid robot participants. Approximately 12,000 human runners will compete alongside robots from over 20 companies, involving a distance of 21 kilometers, or 13 miles. The participating robots must adhere to specific criteria. They must possess a humanoid appearance, be capable of bipedal walking or running, and stand between 0.5 to 2 meters tall. Wheeled robots are not permitted, but both remote-controlled and fully autonomous robots are eligible, with provisions allowing for battery replacements during the race. Now, it sounds a little crazy, especially if you've seen the YouTube videos of robots doing backflips and all that, but this is a key proof for how well robots can finally integrate with, if not compete with humans. One notable entrant is Tian Gong, a humanoid robot developed by China's Embodied Artificial Intelligence Robotics Innovation Center. Tian Gong previously participated in the Beijing Yishuang Half Marathon in November 2024, but it only completed a 100-meter segment. For the upcoming race, Chang'ong is expected to achieve speeds of up to 10 kilometers per hour, or 6.2 miles per hour. But this is more than a novel race. This event is also a clever way to underscore China's rapid advancements in robotics and artificial intelligence. And I guess, like the DeepSeek rollout this week, when it comes to robots and AI, even though the US has tried to hold them back, China isn't out of the running. When the Chinese AI model DeepSeek hit the scene, it published on its homepage a vast number of assessments of how this new competitor did on a full list of tests that are being used in the industry today to evaluate how well AI models perform. And there are a large number of these tests. You can find them at DeepSeek.com and they scored very well. But there was one key omission pointed out in an article in Ars Technica, dad jokes. Well, think about it. If we're trying to evaluate if AI behaves like a human, what better way to test it? So in a humorous piece, author Kyle Orlin tested the models on a number of different, sometimes slightly off the wall tests, but the most memorable was the dad jokes competition. Both ChatGPT and DeepSeek were given 40 seconds to come up with five dad jokes. Here's my favorite from ChatGPT. I tried sleeping on a stack of old magazines last night. Let's just say I had some serious issues in the morning. 
but don't do it. And here's what I thought was the best deep seek joke. I started a band with my vacuum cleaner. We're not bad, but we really suck at live shows. But don't. Do and in fairness, I think they would both make a dad smile and a kid cringe. But even though it was close, I think I have to give the Oh, Dad award to Deep Seek on this one. Check them out, try them out on your kids. I put the full list of the dad jokes in the show notes, and there's a link to the original story as well. And that's our show for today. Don't forget, this weekend we'll have our AI experts from Project Synapse doing a deep dive on Deep Seek and its impact on the world of AI. Grab your Saturday morning coffee with us, join us or catch us wherever and whenever you listen to longer podcasts or watch us on YouTube, whatever works for you. I'm your host, Jim Love. Have a fabulous Friday.